Oh my God, okay, we see a shove. This is such a big spot. Come on, oh wow, come on. Oh God, he's got a monster. Okay, no tan. We literally just have to fade the tan. Okay, we got the ace nine here. We are actually sitting just with 35k. Starting stack was 50k. Have lost a few chips, unfortunately. Had a big pot early on, which we lost. But yeah, still got a, a nice workable stack anyway, but not off to a great start in this tournament. I'm gonna fold the ace nine. Hopefully no raises from big blind. Oof, horrible flop for, for king queen here. Definitely just checking back. I mean, this particular combo is, yeah, just going to be like a, a pure check, really. Probably even in tournaments. Okay, he checks again. I mean, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to bet this one. And top it off, we'd probably get the worst river card in the deck. You would probably expect, I mean, I probably think this is just like a, a six or something. But nevertheless, I, I don't want to just be bluffing my hand here. But we just fold this one, get out of the way. It's no point messing around. We also have this 1.5k deep stack, which we actually started a little bit better in this one. Uh, okay, we hit the jack, but it's yeah a bit of a dicey board, that's for sure. We are just going to start off with a call. I mean, it's, it's not a good turn card, but, you know, we've potentially got a hand that could be turned into a bluff. But then, you know, it's going to be very hard getting, getting things to fold. That's the issue. Probably, I think we still just flat against this sizing because he can do this sort of bet with like his pocket eights, pocket nines, all those type hands still. Just hopefully he doesn't uh, fire on the river. He checks. Yeah, king jack. Okay, whatever. Okay, here we call the king nine. Probably going to be raising this one on flop if he bets. Yeah, we are raising. Nice. Perfect hand to raise on that board, like with the king of clubs and the nine. I feel as though that was kind of a mandatory raise spot, really. Okay, pocket tens here. I'm actually going to mix in a flat. A lot of the time, I'm just going to be raising the pocket tens. But it's definitely a spot we can just mix. Okay, it's yeah, it's not a great flop, but we do still have to to call at the moment. Well. Yeah, certainly not a good turn card either. We're, we're just going to be folding this one now if he continues betting. Okay, he checks. This can still be some jacks, queens that we're behind. Tens wants to just be pure check here though, I think. There's still enough stuff that, that we still beat here. I mean, uh, this does just look like a king, but he can still just bet this tiny bet just to, yeah, it is a king. Sometimes people just do like a, a tiny bet in case I've got like a missed flush draw or something. Right, ace five. Are we actually gonna be able to see a flop here? Literally can't even open a hand without being raised at the moment. It doesn't. Okay, gonna bet. We have a blocker for some of his uh, potential raises, his five sixes, five sevens, and yeah, we take it down on flop. Okay, spot here. I mean, I was kind of tempted literally just to rip this one at first but I think it would be a little bit much even with the bounty off of 24 bigs or whatever I sat on so yeah just open <laughs> it's the perfect flop we're gonna start betting small and just go three streets with this one just see the fold there okay another hand we can open queen 10 small blind cool I might just take one stab at this one on flop. This should kind of push off any sort of pocket pairs. Perhaps some sevens. Once he calls, I think we just check this one back though, because he's gonna have like quite a bit of ace in his range and especially with our bounty, we're gonna struggle making that fault. So I think we just wanna check and hope to bing a king. We don't. I mean, I guess we beat like, what, nine, 10 suited. Ace eight, yeah. All right, ace ten. I mean, I've, I've actually picked up a lot of hands, just not hit any flops at all, unfortunately. Uh, shove isn't going to be bad, but I think ace ten suited. We just want to call. Nice. We go with this one. Just got to hope to get lucky. So yeah, we put in a raise. I mean, I'm still, I'm going to have some strong hands here. I'm still going to have ace queens. I'm still going to have, you know, pocket aces. Right. 
We've got to get lucky. Simple as that. Oh, wow. That is it. I mean, if there's a hand you want to see, it's King Jack of Diamonds in that spot. I mean, yeah. That could not be a, a better spot, to be honest. He's probably loving life there when he's he's seeing us raising and with a with a five hundred dollar bounty. But yeah, when we turn over the the ace x suited, yeah, he's not loving it quite so much. Okay, we've got a nice spot here in the the one point five k buy-in. Wow, interesting spot here. David Peters raises. We're gonna struggle getting action here, but I guess we just. Just click this one, because the thing is, I, I really should be playing a tight range here. He's he's still probably just going to shove like his his queens and kings there. So we just got to hope he also has a bit of a monster. Yes, let's go. Kings or queens? Yeah, queens. Come on, hold. Nice. Queen on the river, please. Nice, let's go, come on. Big spot. Okay, ace king. So we're picking up some hands. Meramu uh, raises. Potentially with aces, kings, queens, I would probably trap this one quite a bit, but ace king off, we're just ripping this one. I mean, he still calls his like ace queens, ace queen suitors, I suppose. Just hope he doesn't call and have some like pocket pair that we have to flip against. Ace queen, call please. No, we take it down, but it would have been a nice flop, but we don't mind that. Pocket sevens, we are currently 12th of 75, but still late registration is open, so a long old way left in this tournament. Okay, we get a cut off flat. I'm just gonna go ahead and bet this one. I'm going to continue betting on the turn because like if we check this one over and he has say like pocket eights himself and he starts betting then it's not as though I can call whereas if I just stab for this tiny sizing it then just means as though he has to fold everything so going for this tight like obviously I'm not going to go massive here because what else do I get to fold and um, yeah I mean I suppose we just check and, and hope he has king queen yeah so should be splitting yes nice. Right, ace queen, ace queen suited as well. If we get raised, we're going with this one for sure. People are gonna be going in like wider, raising slightly looser here with my bounty. Okay, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I suppose it's a good flop. I think I'm actually just gonna check back though. It, I mean, this board does generally favor whatever his name is, his range. Probably I don't need to bet this one. Probably have to call here some of the time against this sizing. Yeah, I'm gonna call. 4-3. Nice, so I guess we've got max value because he probably just folds on flop if we bet. Okay, we've got pocket sixes. We're just gonna flap from button. I mean, there's a few things we beat. We also have a little bit of backdoor equity and we've got a fold turn now. He should barrel most hands, yeah. All right, King Jack. We've got a couple short stacks here. I mean, what what is this? Like, why are you just shoving 45 bigs there? I mean, it probably looks more like ace king anyway, so maybe the king isn't even good there. A7, okay. We're gonna have a second attempt. Good flop. We're gonna go for a big bet and then jam turn. This way it means that he's, he's probably just like folding out his sixes. And also he, he's not just gonna be raising some draws i mean to be honest you can play this a mixture of ways but i like just betting big and then jam in turn and we don't need to i think this is probably a misclick we're gonna raise okay it's decent flop just gonna bet small probably want to check turn now <sighs> i mean what is this like I just really just think this guy is just a complete sausage and might just have some random stuff. But I just, I, I don't think we can call Ace Jack here. Ugh. Mm. Tough one. Kings here. We just, we just jam this one because we should just get called really wide with the bounty. Although maybe from the button. Okay, yeah, a few equals. Oh no, I didn't want to see an A6. Come on. 
Yes, wrap it up on turn. That's what you like to see. No river sweat. Come on. So, you know, I mean, we're not in a great position. We're still just back up to start and stack, but we're still in the 2K. So, yeah, that's the main thing. This is kind of marginal, to be honest. Probably fold may have actually been better here. So we are still sat with a decent stack in the, the 1.5k deep stack, 130,000. So still a nice stack, but a long way to go and all could change. Okay, I think we're going to just raise this one for sure. Literally just going to click it back and then uh, bow a turn. Like he's still going to call like a lot of his two overs, but then fold out to any turn barrels. But we're still going to barrel this one, you know. I'm going to be raising my, my sevens and eights. Question is, do we follow through here? Yeah, I, th I think we've got to follow through. Oh, aces, rough. Okay, I haven't really been showing the, the 525, but we have made the money, picked up some bounties, and we're most likely gonna face a, a shove or, or something, but yeah, he opens. We do have some fold equity, but I'd say most of the time we're gonna be getting called here. A7, come on. Yes, okay, we wrap it up, so only a jack splits. Nice. Okay, maybe this, you know, we've we've lost some chips in, in the bigger tournaments, but I mean, the 525 is still a lot up top for this one, so maybe this might become our main tournament now for the day. A lot of offsuit ace X is, is just gonna be a shove in this spot, especially against a, a looser player. Good stuff, take it down again. He's four suited now. Gonna have a lot of these hands. Again, off 17 is just meant to be a shove. Yeah, I mean, this is just a slam dunk shove. Oh, oof. he got that in so quickly. Jesus, I mean, fair enough, but he called that a little fast. Ah, damn. Okay, we're all but out of this one, but here, uh, he opened and we, we just got to see a flop here, so we're just gonna, uh, I mean, I could have just open shoved this one, I suppose, but I'll let him just, yeah, okay. Oh, really? Come on, black. Again, nothing you can do about that and nothing you can do here. We're just, yeah, not really just getting any good runs in, in the big tournaments. So we're out of the two big boys, unfortunately, but we do still have a run going here. So let's hope we get a big one going. Hopefully we just see folds and we can go in and put an extra four in for, for the bounty. Wouldn't mind that. Okay, we get one fold. Yes, nice. So we get to see a Okay, and that's, that is the hand you want to be up against. Oh, and that's the flop you want, come on. And that's a, that's, it's also the turn you want. Let's go. $218 bounty. Can we get a run going and make up for the, the big... T I mean, you know, we need to win a lot in this tournament. This, we probably need to make the final table to actually have a, a profitable day here. But yeah, we're going the right way about it. Right, pocket tens. Nice hand to have here, and look at this. Look how many short stacks with bounties we've got. Probably gonna see some a lot of shoves like from this uh, bigger sack. Okay, it's a bit annoying, unfortunately. I, I wanted to see a shove from the... No, you just see folds. Come on. Why can someone not wake up with something there? I'm actually just gonna limp with 9-7 here. I don't mind this, you know. I'm probably just gonna stab flop because we should just be able to get a lot of folds, a lot of snap folds. Oh, look at that for a turn card. Potentially might see some leads now from this guy. No, he doesn't. Because this guy might just have some random junk. I'm actually going to go for like a trap here. It's not usually a play I, I would make. I'm going to barrel this turn card most of the time. Yeah, and he does decide to bet out. I'm not going to shove this one. I, I just don't think we're ever really going to get looked up if we shove. So, and, and like, I shouldn't really have many bluffs. Whereas if I go for a slightly smaller raise, maybe like a, a jack 10 is, is going to look us up here. Yes, come on. What? 
Well, that just backfired. I hope he was debating whether to shove there because if he was tanking whether to call him, that is just horrendous. <laughs> and it looks as though the, uh, the check back on the turn, I mean, it's as I said, it's, it's not a check back I ever usually go for, but the one time I go for it, it just completely backfires, which, yeah, not ideal. Okay, Jack-9, I think I'm gonna gamble here off, off seven, to be honest. Like, Jack-9 suited is a hand where you actually kind of don't mind just going multi-way with. Like, we could potentially be in a spot where we're getting a triple up and also potentially getting a bounty here. Like, I think Jack-9 suited is just a, a decent hand to go with. Still annoyed that we're in this position. Like, the fact I went for that check back with the 9-7, like, I, it was just a bad play. I just kind of overthought it. Like, with the, the 9 block, I kind of just wanted to check back and let him just bluff River because, it, like, it was more of a player-specific thing. But in reality, checking back a 7 there is, is never, like, the best of plays and isn't something I'd usually go for. So, yeah, still a bit annoyed at that one. But whatever, it happens. Like, checking back, you know, it's, it's not terrible we, we got very unfortunate okay multi way jack nine let's hit this jack come on that's the jack uh, we're still only 57 percent here though oh no what is that oh that's a queen it's a king do we win do we win i think we do win yes we do come on wow <laughs> Was, but honestly, it was just too much going on there. I was thinking, like, I was pretty confident we won with that king, but, you know, I, uh, yeah, I didn't want to speak too soon. So, yeah, that's why I said, like, Jack-9 suited there is, is a really, really nice spot just to just to go in for. Like, when you're sat seven big blinds, you'd much rather just be ripping, like, Jack-9 suited than, like, a ace four offsuit in that spot if you you're going multi-way so i you know we're a little fortunate here to be in this spot to be honest because we did make a slip up well, an unfortunate slip up with the nine seven earlier checking that one back but we have gotten away with it luckily and we, we have to fold here kings now come on oh this is huge 900 dollar bounty come on what a spot this is this is just massive it's such a big bouncy that i really don't think i want to like flat and just induce and go like some massive multi-way so i think i just want to want to raise this one. Oh my god okay we see a shove this is such a big spot come on oh wow come on oh god he's got a monster okay no 10 we literally just have to fade the 10. Come on! $900 bounty and such a big one to win. What a spot that is. Come on. We really want to be getting this guy's bounty, that's for sure. I see a four on the turn. <laughs> we do see a four on the turn. I think we just let him barrel because he should still just rip like... You know, he should still triple barrel his ace queens, ace jacks, ace tens, all that sort of stuff. So I don't particularly think we, uh, yeah, we shouldn't really ever be ripping this one or whatever. Oh, wow. Come on. We just made the boat. And now, you know, he's shoving any ace x here. So this is just perfect spot. Let's not run into ace king, please. Race six. 1.6k bounty. Come on, mate. Shove. I mean, he's shoving any ace x. So what a spot this is. Don't check back, please. Oh, no, he leaves behind 0.2 blinds. Please, please don't fold. Please, mate. You're not getting back into this. Please don't just have a pure bluff. Come on, cool. 